Hello everyone, this is Kathleen. And before I leave the whole subject of cereal box covers for journals, I, I wanted to do um, um, just a mixed media painted one because one of you wanted to see the, the painted ones that I had made, you know, before some of, some of these, you know, are left unsanded, but some of them are painted. And um, a couple of you wanted to see how I did that. So that's what we're going to do today. And I have particularly, I want to do some texture paste um, with, with one because I have kind of a fancy closure that I, I want to do. And, and it will take kind of a more plain journal cover. So we're going to do that, uh, some texture paste as well. So let me just put out, I've just chosen some, some green, some, um, just cream color and a couple shades of pink. And we're just going to lay some paint down first of all. So let me get some paint out and, um, and then we're just going to just going to play a little bit. And this is going to be very random because, you know, when when you do um painting and mixed media stuff, you have to be satisfied, you know, with with the randomness. So, yeah, we'll just kind of see how this turns out. I've got some stencils over here. I've got, um, we've got my ink is handy. I've got a couple of, um, a couple of bottles of Distress Spray ink ready. So let's just kind of see. I've got two, two covers that are sanded and we'll just see what we can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is just roll some paint on with, um, with the brayer. So we'll just put some, some cream color down first just to kind of make a background and then well, let's get some green okay so if you end up with a bit of a splotch like we've got going right there things you can do. Just going to take a little bit of baby wipe and pick up some of that. Spread it out and then come back and, and fix that. Okay. All right. Now a little bit of pink. I'm putting the lighter pink down first because, because the contrast is um, the darker is going to to be more of a uh, like a focal. You're going to see that first, so you've got to kind of think of it as a focal point. smears it so you've got to be a little bit careful because then it, it doesn't get the same kind of all right now that's a little bit too much bright pink so I'm going to put a little bit more lighter pink on top dull that down just a bit I like this. This is looking pretty good, but I think I want a little bit more green. Not too much, just... Okay, so that's, that's the way I do it. 
and then um, we're going to let that dry and then we're going to come back with some inks and do a little bit of stenciling. But let's just put this aside for a minute over here where it can dry at least a little bit and let's do this one and i think let's see this one what color do i want it well i definitely want um let's do a green first of all and lay down quite a bit of i want to lay down quite a bit of green i think So I want this to look kind of like old, worn, painted walls. It's kind of what, what I'm going for here. So now let's add some of this cream color. That's, that's just kind of simple as that. The other thing that, that you can do is, um, let's, let's do this with the light. Um, you can get like the sponging technique with a sea sponge. And we can dip that in there. And then we can kind of go around like this. And I'm turning the sponge so that it doesn't leave the same pattern. And I think that I want a little bit more dark green. So we will get a couple other colors of green. This is kind of a grade green, one of my favorite colors actually this is a little bit more greeny green okay all right I like that Okay, now we're going to trade out again and bring the other one back. Acrylic paint dries pretty fast. This is not completely dried, but it's dried to the touch now. Back and now let's. Oh, while that other one is drying. To give it just a little bit of a squirt with this um, green spray. Good grief, something's wrong with that. I got a investigate that later because that um, is leaking somehow oh it's brand new don't you know it so I'm gonna 
another baby wipe for my hands. Okay, so that's that splatter is going to kind of dry. And and that'll that'll be good. Okay. Let's bring this one back. And now we're going to take this stencil and I think we will do I'm using uh, Forest Moss Distress Ink, and we're just going to kind of put just a little bit, just kind of in the background. So we're going to make a triangle and here on the front as well. just want this stencil and some of this paint. And I need, I need my stencil brush. Or I can use this. I can use just a foam, a foam brush will also work or a, like a makeup sponge something like that i'm just going to put some polka dots on i think i need a, a lighter paint like light maybe but I don't don't really want light here that's okay just you know just adding some what what we call texture um, let's see what else can we do um, let's do a little bit of this and see if this is leaking somehow around that collar. As I say, that is distressing. Let's see if we can... Okay. Now let's see what happens if we spray that. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting what what you get. The stenciling um, kind of went away. We may have to to reapply that, but the acrylic acts as a little bit of a resist for distress. So. That's interesting. Okay, let's put that over here now again to dry and bring this back. And you can see that that stain, that's interesting. Okay, so now what I want is the stencil that I'm going to put on here. <coughs> I'm going to put this down. I think, or maybe maybe I want one of these. 
think two of them one on either side or just now let's just go with this this all right here's the texture paste <coughs> and here's my all right just need to dig some of that out I'm gonna line this up Use my cough. I'm breathing something. And I think I've got design covered. So we will scrape, scrape up the extra. And I think I have pushed some underneath. I can see right there and right there. So yeah, you've got to be kind of careful as you push that in. You don't push it underneath the stencil which I have done. So I'm going to have a little bit of a blob there. We're going to have to clean that up, but I will show you how I do that. Okay, let's pull that up and we'll see what we've got. Yeah, still and all, pretty good. I should have been slightly more careful. Problem is, I can't see very well because it's a clear stencil and I can't hang over <laughs> because of the camera. So let's clean this off and, and then we will just scrape some of that up. Okay, so that's, that's not too bad. Yeah. good where else I'm not sure that I can get in there very well let me see if I can try sometimes it's just better to leave well enough alone if you know what I mean Okay, pretty good. And yeah, I think we'll we'll let the other stuff stand. Yeah, okay. So there's that. Let me give that just a little bit of a dry.
So that looks like a little bit of a lace applique on there. And then, as I say, I have a specific closure that's a lace kind of thing that, that will go on there. And now I'm going to put some texture paste, or not texture paste, some matte gel. I always get them mixed up. I'm going to put some matte gel over the top because um, that's going to allow me to add some more, um, some other media and, and then it won't um, disturb what, what I've got going on with the paint underneath. So, so we're going to just give this a little coat. going to dry that. Okay, sorry for the noise. over here to dry and we bring this one back and I think let's do let's just do an edge on this side Line this up so that I've got it going straight. Where is my? Let me turn this over one. I'm going to go about halfway on that one. About halfway on this bottom one. that off and put the lid back on this all right and clean this
So if you don't get this texture paste off pretty, pretty quickly, it can ruin this stencil. So that's why I'm going to take the time to clean that. And this one might be, yeah, that one's going to have to soak now. Dang it. Okay, let me get this a little shot. I just want to get the, the top so that it doesn't smear because I'm going to put a stencil back on here and get and, and re stencil that. I guess I should have done that before. There, I think that's good. All right. Let me get Bring the stencil back and the green. And we will line that back up again. Now I want to spritz that again with, with water just to activate that because it's distressed. This is just water. heavy-duty water going there. Okay. There we go. Let's put a little bit of glue on there as well. It. And you can see that where I did the acrylic stenciling, that acts as a resist kind of for the, the spray, which is nice. But I keep losing that, that other stencil. So I may, I would have to do acrylic on it, which I may do. I may come back and play with it. But 
here we go. There's those two. And let me bring this back. Oh, 30, 30 minutes. So we've got to be done, but let's just see how that dries. You know, sometimes when you mix media, <laughs> then you get some really interesting things that happen. Yeah, because, you know, the, the properties of the different media are, are different, and, yeah, they, they combine, and then it's, you just never know what you're going to get. It's just pretty random. So, this... Um, is going all the way down again to the cereal box and picking up some of that paint that was underneath the sanding, the ink that was underneath there, like in this spot right here. Yeah, and then here's this one. Yeah, okay, so there's that, there's those two, and I think that's all I'm going to do on them. I would put this down, except I don't want, I don't want it to get in there. Let me see, take this up. Throw it away. There we go. All right. So now I can put those two so you can see them. And I like them. Yeah, I think they turned out good. Like I say, you know, when you do uh, mixed media, you just have to be happy with the result. And, and it's often maybe different than I had intended, but still very pretty. So I like it. Thanks for spending time. And you'll see the closures um, when I get those done too. Thanks for being with me.